I felt exactly like that butchered bear after the last Skyrim update dropped on the PC. Nobody heard of it, nobody wanted it, but hey, it's still here. So we've gone from patch 1.6353 to patch 1.6629, and that has completely messed up with my modded Skyrim. Now, just last week, I made a video talking about how excited I was to finally get into this world of Skyrim and to be able to experience this with over 450 mods. Well, the bad news is that the game no longer works with those 450 mods. Yes, it's unfortunate, but that's the reality. Now, just after I made my last video, I think the, the update dropped and I could no longer access my game the way I could with these mods because it would crash. It would just not open up. SKSE would not work. Of course, we did receive an update in less than 48 hours, I believe, for the SKSE. I kind of copied and pasted it into the Skyrim root folder. It kind of loaded the game. It worked, but still most of my mods were not compatible with version 1.6629 and therefore my game would not load up properly. And even if it did, it had that issue of purple textures on the game simply because of the fact that I had to manually go into each of these mods and check off those boxes for the different patches. Now, why that is such an issue? It's because it's a tedious process. Now, the first thing that I want to do is give a huge shout out to ESO because I had not spoken about those blokes in my last video. And the reason why I'm giving a big shout out to them is because they had made the process of modding even for a person like me, so seamless. They had over 450 mods that they had listed on their website and just by the click of a button, you were actually able to download all these mods automatically without going into each and every one of them and clicking those boxes or checking those boxes off where one could easily make mistakes. So kudos to these guys because the modding process had been made so much simple. Now, the bad part is the fact that because of the update that dropped in, and again, nobody asked for it. It's, it was mainly an update for the consoles and not exactly for the PC. So not much has changed in the PC version. And that is what is so frustrating. I know there are a lot of memes out there, a lot of videos, a lot of YouTubers talking about the fact that it is frustrating. And trust me, I cannot even explain how frustrating it is because I had spent over 30 hours in this game. I had spoken about how I spent over 20 hours. Most of it, you know, went into just uh, experiencing the mods. <laughs> I mean, experiencing them in a good way and even doing a little bit of trial and error with the different mods because, hey, I was new to this whole modding game. Now, with this new version, all of that went away. Now, just a word of advice before I move any further in this video, and that's going to help you guys a lot and you're going to thank me later. Please get into Steam and turn off the auto updates in your game. You can just go into the properties and turn that off and do that immediately so that you don't have to face the same issue that I did. And I know you're going to thank me later. So I'm just going to put it out there and uh, let you hit that button straight away. Now, let's start with the vanilla version of this game. Now, as far as the vanilla version goes on both the PC and the Xbox Series S, everything is pretty much the same. The lighting, the assets, the quantity of NPCs, etc. The only thing that is different is the richness that you get in the texture quality, the sharpness because of the fact that I was playing this on 1440p on my PC. And on the Xbox Series S, it runs at a smooth 60 FPS, but it does so at only 900p to 1080p. So the resolution takes a hit on the Xbox Series S, but the performance is solid. Now on the PC, I was playing this on my Asus ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition from 2021. And um, I was doing a screen capture. I have not used any capture card or any capture devices. This is a direct screen recording. And therefore, I was not able to record a lot because it takes a performance hit when I do a screen capture. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't end up recording a lot of the Skyrim with the mods. But hey, I do have some footage. For instance, take a look at the next screen here and how big of a difference do these mods make? I mean, it looks like a completely different game. Look at the trees in the distance, the quantity of trees that are there. Xbox Series S version again, PC version with the mods, the snow on the trees, the terrain, the texture quality, the grass. It looks like a next-gen game, almost as good as a next-gen title. 
let me tell you that and this completely makes your game look different in a good way in a great way in fact the mod experience on skyrim is absolutely fantastic in fact I've said this in the past, I'll say it again, this is one of the most modded games out there in the world right now, and there's a very, very active mod community involved here. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that because the mods come from different authors, that's why some of these mods might take a longer time to get that update for the patch 1.6629. Therefore, I'm gonna kind of um, wait till that happens, till all those mods get updated because um, I'm not gonna get into the whole process of reinstalling the game and um, reinstalling these mods again. And by the way, you have to do a clean, clean reinstall if you wanna get these mods to work. And how to go about doing that? Well, I'm gonna link a video from ESO, from the same guys who gave these 450 mods. And again, such a great job they have done that um, I have to mention them. I have to give a huge shout out to them. And hopefully these various mods from these various authors get an update and um, I hope it becomes that seamless process that I experienced for the first time downloading, downloading these 450 mods. And look at the uh, warrior stone here, the lighting that falls on it. Obviously I was also using ENB, so that makes a huge difference to the way your game looks with the ENB lighting. And look at those aspen trees, those uh, bright yellow golden leaves. Um, on these beautiful aspen trees in the background and one of the mods that I will recommend is nature of the wild lands apart from that dense Nordic forests for sure and also happy little trees now this is a fantastic mod especially for those who are looking for performance as well because it hardly has a performance tip happy little trees is definitely one of those mods even if you're not getting the 450 mods that I'm talking about for those dense thick forest trees that you're taking a look at right now in this modded version you can achieve that with just these three mods nature of the wildlands dense nordic forests and also happy little trees so you may want to take a note of that uh, i am of course putting a link of the eso video and uh, that eso video also has many links so that will take you to their website and you can take a look at the exhaustive list of mods that are available on their website you can manually down, download them one by one, which is a tedious process, which I will never recommend, or just click on that install button on their website and it will do its work on its own. That's what I would recommend. But I would recommend that you wait for some time because some of these mods, like I said, have not received an update. Now, if you take a look at the texture quality and if you take a look at the uh, trees, some of these plants, etc., flowers, now I have used 3D Cathedral, so that is also a part of these 450 mods. And that completely changes the way plants look because by default, the leaves of the trees, the plants, etc., they have a very paper-like texture, flat texture, but that changes with the 3D Cathedral mod. Now going from outdoors to the indoors, it only gets better, I would say, with the indoors. Take a look at the texture quality in the cabin. Take a look at the lighting overall, the guard rays in the background and the character itself and even the objects that are hanging in the background. It looks like a completely different game. And the character here on screen, Sigrid, uh, one of the mods that I will highly recommend is Bijin Wives or Bijin War Maidens. And to get that, you should definitely also get CBBE to improve the texture of the skin of your NPCs and uh, give them this overhaul. There is conditional expressions as well that I would uh, recommend that you download for your characters uh, being a little more expressive than they are. But here, when we finally move into this comparison screen of the PC version and the Xbox Series S, you would notice how the same character, Sigrid here, looks completely different on this PC modded version. Take a look at the clothing texture, take a look at the texture of the hair, the eyes, they're so expressive. The lips, it looks like a completely different character and that's what makes modding so important and so great in Skyrim. And will I recommend this even after the bad experience that I've had? Well, the bad experience came not because of the mod authors. It came because of the Skyrim update. And if you turn off, off auto updates from the Steam app, I think you should be good. So if you're stuck on 1.6353, all these 450 mods will still work like a charm. Um, it's a seamless process. I will link up the um, video in the description box and you can just go and download this and experience Skyrim in its uh, full glory, you could say. So 
I think that brings me to the end of this video. Although as frustrating as it was, I still enjoyed making this video so that I can share um, the good news and the bad news with you lovely folks and uh, you can kind of avoid the mistakes that I've made when it comes to modding Skyrim. So if you have liked this video, if you've liked the content, then I will greatly appreciate it. If you could hit that like and subscribe button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm and it also helps my channel grow. And apart from that, if you could kindly hit that bell icon as well, so that every time I upload a video, you will get a notification that a new video of mine has dropped in. Now, with that said, I um, would say happy gaming to you lovely folks and uh, enjoy modding on Skyrim and enjoy this game because this is a fantastic game and a fantastic experience that you all should definitely try out. Now, until next time, guys, I would say take care, stay safe, and as I always say in all my videos, may God bless you all.